Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a test that can check if actually percentages are different among uh, multiple uh, variables or actually values. So for example, if I go for analyze descriptive statistics frequencies, I move my nominal variable there. Uh, so in this case I've asked people which brand do you prefer, A till D, and as you can see the percentages are slightly different and I would like to know if these are significantly different. To test if they're all the same or not, you can use something known as a chi-square goodness of fit test, which is under analyze non-parametric tests and under one sample or legacy dialogues chi-square. I'll first use the legacy dialogues, move this one up here, and expected values I assume they're all equal. Could actually change that, but I'm going to be assuming that they're all equal. Click on OK, and in the result, I can see that the significance is below 0 0.05, which usually would consider this significant uh, different. Just to show the other option, analyze non parametric test one sample field. The only field I have is already up here settings customize and I want compare observed probabilities to hypothesized chi square twice options all categories have equal probability again ok run and have to wait a little while result also again 0 0.000 reject the null hypothesis so at least one of them is different now there are multiple ways to continue with this. Uh, one possible approach is to do a pairwise comparison. So I'm going to now compare A with B, A with C, A with D. Fortunately I haven't figured out a fast way of doing that so I have to actually select my data one by one. So I'll go for data and then select cases. If condition is satisfied, if, I already actually typed it in but I'll do it again. If my brand equals 1, which was actually brand A, or if the brand is actually 2. Click on OK. Now it's selected in my data file, it's selected brands A and B, everything else is crossed out, and I can now do a binomial test, which can be done under analyze non-parametric test, one sample, or again legacy dialogues, binomial, I'll reset it for now, favorite brand, goes up there, click on OK, and these two are significantly different. I can actually keep track of that in, for example, small Excel file, A and B, significance 0 0.000. It's actually better to double click on here, and double click here as well, so you get slightly more decimals, place that one in. I'll do one other one, uh, I'm not going to waste your time by doing them all one by one. Uh, data, select cases, if, and let's do brand 1 and 3, continue, ok, and again analyze non-parametric test, I'll use the one, uh, I'll use the legacy dialogues again, binomial, it's still there, click on OK, and you notice I get a slightly different result, this one is not significantly different, and I'll paste that in my little Excel overview. Now I have an additional column for adjusted significance, because we're doing multiple tests here, uh, six in total actually, and you therefore need to actually change this significance a little bit, one easy way is a so-called Bonferroni correction, which simply says to multiply this significance by the number of pairwise comparisons you're actually doing. So in this case I need to multiply each of these with 6. So it equals this one times 6. Still below 0 0.05, so the difference in percentage between these two can be considered significant. This one of course was already above 0 0.05 and now is even further above 0 0.05 so the difference between brand A and C uh, how often that was chosen was not significantly different 
you can do that for all of this uh, but I hope you got the general idea